Good evening. Uh, we had till now talked about laws of gravitation, Newton's laws of gravitation we did, we understood that. Also we understood about the variation of g, that is how it depends on the altitude, how it depends on the depth and also it depends on the rotation of the earth. So as we go below the earth, you know effect of g, it goes on decreasing. And as you go to a height altitude, it also goes on decreasing. This is what we have noticed. And also due to the rotation of the earth, due to centrifugal force, g will also change. This we have seen. Today my lecture will be based on the uh, projection, that is principle of launching of satellite. Now as you know, we have done in motion in two dimension projectile motion. Suppose this is the tower here. And a man is there at the tower, barabar, and he wants to uh, project a body. Barabar. So when he projects a body with some velocity u, is this clear? So what will happen? This, if there is no gravity, the <coughs> body is going to go straight, if there is no gravity. But because of the gravity, it will follow a projectile path. We know which type of projectile I had taught you. This is the horizontal projectile. Right. So, uh, you know, uh, in, uh, in one second, so we use the formula h is equal to half g t square. So, using this formula in one second, the vertical height fallen, this is going to be, if you use this formula, 9.8 into 1 square, this becomes 4.9 meter. So, the vertical distance fall will be 4.9 meter. And the horizontal distance traveled will be equal to u into t that will be the horizontal distance because for horizontal motion there is no gravity we have to take along y axis is this clear so that means if I throw a body with a greater speed so what will happen it will travel more distance but the vertical fall will always be the same as 4.9 meter is this clear is this clear yes. so it depends on horizontal distance traveled will increase because your horizontal speed is more but the vertical fall will always be 4.9 meter that is going to be the same so the beauty of this earth is that is you know the earth curvature the earth curvature is every 8 kilometer the curvature of the earth falls by 4.9 meter are you following every 8 kilometer this falls by 4 point. This is the curvature. So if I throw a body with a speed of say u equal to 8 kilometer per second. So what will happen? It will travel a horizontal distance of 8 kilometer in one second and the vertical fall will be again 4.9. It means what? By the time the earth also curves. So it will be at the same distance. From the earth's surface, the body is going to be at the same distance because the rate at which the earth curvature and the rate at which the body is falling is the same. So what will happen? The body will perform a, what we call a circular motion and that body which we call it as a satellite will continue to revolve in a, in a circular motion. Means it will always maintain a constant distance. I hope you followed. This is the principle of launching of satellite. So what is a satellite? Satellite kisko kehte hai? Satellite means any body which rotates around heavenly bodies around say for example around earth. We will call that as satellite. So we have a natural satellite like moon. We have artificial satellites. So artificial satellites will depend what is the purpose of the satellites. For example this is the earth. This is the equator. So these are called, this is called the polar satellites. So we have satellites which are called, these are elliptical satellites. We have low orbit satellites, very low orbit satellites. Which one? Mobile communication, low orbits. We have GPS, global positioning satellites. These satellites are low orbit satellites. We have another satellite which is sub most important, that is the geostationary satellite. The geostationary satellite will be, you know, at a 36,000 kilometers from the Earth's surface. Earth is 6,400, 
This is 36,000. So if such satellites, this is the equator. So if we have a satellite in this equatorial plane, wherever, eh? and if you have at the height, what height? 36,000 kilometers. And if the satellite rotation and the Earth's rotation is same, so what will happen? It will always appear stationary. Is this clear? Such satellites are called? And such orbits are called geostationary orbits. Is this clear? So depending on the purpose, which satellite we have to use, we have polar satellites, these are polar orbits. This is elliptical satellites for spy satellites. Then we have low orbit satellites for mobile communication. Then we have GPS, global positioning satellites. And this is the most important, this is geostationary satellite. So I think we come back here to the principle of launching. That means the velocity with which you must project a body should be 8 kilometer per second. So the rate at which the body will fall and the rate at which the earth curves is the same. That means the body or the satellite will always remain at a constant distance. That means this. So that means what is the velocity of projection to be given to satellite? If you project it with a less speed than 8, then I hope common sense, the satellite, you know, will fall back to the earth. It will fall back. So you have to project it with a speed? 8 kilometers. So that is called the critical speed. Is this clear? And if you project it with very large speed, so it will escape the earth's gravitational pull. So we have to take that importance. So that speed is called critical speed. Is this clear? Now we can't go at the tower here and launch a satellite because the satellite will get burned. So we have to cross the earth's atmosphere. You know the earth atmosphere is there. So we have to cross that height. Otherwise the satellite will get burned. Right. So now we can't have a 600 kilometer tower. It is not possible. I hope you are following. So we have to take a satellite launching vehicle. So minimum speed with which we launch, minimum stage which we require to launch must be two stage, two stage sat rockets. One stage is to take the rocket to a height and the second stage will be used to give the horizontal velocity to the satellite. So depending on the use, for example, if you want to go for uh, the geostationary, what is the height? The height is? 36,000 kilometers. So you require four stage GSLV, geostationary satellite launching vehicle. We have PSLV, polar satellite launching vehicle. We have ASLV. These are the spacecraft. Depending on the what, for what purpose the satellite, what is the weight of the satellite which we are using. So, so I'll tell you how. So this is a model of what we call it as the PSLV. So this is a multi-stage integrated rocket of PSLV. So this is the satellite is held here, where it is held at the tip of this. So this is heat shield. Most important thing is the heat shield. So now follow here. So all these the different stages, the fuel use is different. So main important part is to break through the gravity space, where from the earth surface. So here you have the strap-on motors. These are the strap-on motors. Because the main part is here. The, all the launching time is just 8 minutes. So what is the success? Depends on this 8 minute span. Scientists are in that they are very uh, tense in that 8 minute time. So this is integrated. Now satellite is held as I told you at the tip of this. This is the heat shield. Now we have this, uh, the fuel is uh, burnt here. So these are strap-on motors you, and this fuel is burnt here. That means you get an up thrust. You know I have explained to you in laws of motion how you get a large up thrust. The fuel is burning. Wherever. So we use many different fuels here at different stages. So what happens, suppose 1017, the rocket has taken off 1017. So it will go to a certain height and then the first stage gets deattached it gets burnt also, it separate separate, the first stage. So now, after one minute, so it will take a, this SLV will go to a certain height. And after some time, the 
second stage gets deattached. Now the fuel automatically by remote sensing, we have remote sensing. So automatically by remote sensing the fuel is ignited here. Is this clear? So uh, as we go to this thing, so three minutes and then it will take seven minutes and finally the last stage comes here at the greater height. So what will happen? The last stage means the final stage. So final stage will have what? The final stage will have only what? This is the satellite here. Now, now through remote sensing this is rotated through 90 degree. As I explained to here, now this final stage is important to give the push to the satellite. So the heat shield gets opened up and the satellite is injected into that orbit. With what speed? 8 kilometers. For so that speed will the satellite will continue to orbit in a circular orbit. So this is the way how a satellite is launched. So I will explain you on the board now. Is it clear? Uh, now this is where as I told you let me tell you here. So this is the rocket, a multi-stage rocket. So these are the strap-on motors for the rocket. These are the different stages. One, two, three, four. The satellite is held here. So suppose the liftoff time is 10, 17 a.m. The fuel is burnt here. This is the reaction. So it takes the height here. So 10, 18 a.m. One minute, the first stage gets deattached. Then after three minutes, so here what happens? First stage gets deattached. Is it clear? So the most important fuel required is here. Because now you have crossed that height, as I told you, I explained to you, the gravity, acceleration due to gravity is decreasing. So you don't require much of the fuel. Is this clear? So the second stage is ignited through this system. This is the remote sensing system. So this goes on monitoring this. Barabar, you have to control through remote sensing here. These are all in gigahertz frequency. Then you will know after some time, say after 4 minutes, so it will be 10, 22 a.m. So your next stage, that is the second stage, gets deattached. Is this clear? So you have reached a height now. So you are crossing say 200 kilometers height. You are crossing. Then after that, the third stage gets deattached. That is at, you know, say 10.38 a.m. And finally, you have the fourth stage. So fourth stage is given with a, with a satellite here. So the heat shield gets open here. Here fourth stage is getting deattached. Here the third stage. Third stage is getting deattached. This is the fourth stage getting deattached. Now fourth stage is the important stage that is called the final stage. That is used to give the horizontal push horizontal velocity vh to the satellite so you know the satellite this is the satellite which has got the folded you know and solar panel so they give again the jerk so this has now turned this way so this will from this the what we call rotate they give a jerk to this and this satellite then you know it opens up with the solar panel and finally the satellite starts orbiting in a pre determined orbit so these are the different stages you followed and the satellite goes to the height. So what is the most important crucial part is the fourth stage. There you require a push, horizontal push of 8 kilometers per second. So the satellite will orbit in a circle. If now suppose the push has less, so what will happen? The satellite will fall back to earth. So it will be a mission failure. Is it clear? So important part is the fourth stage. Is this clear? So all this happens in few minutes and the how this is how a satellite is launched. Okay. Now I will come to different paths. How the satellite have got depending on the horizontal velocity. So as I told you here, let us talk about the different paths taken by the satellite. So here. So this is the, we have taken the satellite to a height edge. Here you have followed, we have given VH, that is the horizontal push. And if VH is less than, I told you, than the critical velocity VC. VH is less than critical velocity. What is our critical velocity? 8 km per second. The satellite will fall back. It is going to fall back, common sense. But if you give VH is equal to VC, 
then the satellite will orbit in a closed circular orbit. Wherever it, this is the equator, this is the Earth of mass n. Is this clear? So this will have a circular orbit. And I told you when the satellite orbits here in a closed circular orbit, then the centripetal force required for circular motion is provided by the gravitational force of attraction between the earth and the satellite of mass m. So it has reached a height h. So the radius of the orbit is r plus h. So what will be the mathematical equation? The mathematical equation will be gmm upon r plus h whole square will be equal to m vc square upon r plus h. This is the centripetal force required for circular motion is provided by the gravitational force of attraction between the satellite and the earth. Is this clear? But if you project it with a velocity greater than critical velocity and less than escape velocity, greater than critical velocity, less than escape, so the satellite will take an elliptical orbit. So this will be an elliptical orbit. That means how will I write? How will I write here? Subtle, that is the horizontal velocity greater than critical velocity, less than the e. Is this clear? That means VH stands for horizontal velocity greater than critical velocity less than escape. So nature of path is elliptical. And finally, if you project it with a velocity VH equal to VE, VE stands for the escape velocity. The satellite will escape the Earth's gravitation pull and it will be lost in space. So it will go to infinity because it gravity it will be free from the earth's gravitational pull wherever so and then if it is greater than vh greater than ve so that also will be lost because for ve it is lost for greater than it will also be i hope you followed that so what are the five cases we discuss now first if the horizontal velocity is less than critical velocity the satellite falls to the earth after following a spiral path. If the horizontal velocity equals critical velocity, the satellite orbits in a circular orbit. Wherever a stable circular orbit. The centripetal force necessary for stable circular motion is provided by the gravitational force of attraction between the earth and the satellite. Is this clear? M stands for the mass. Vc is the critical speed of the satellite. R plus h is the radius of the orbit. So from here we can derive different expressions which will be doing so. And if the horizontal velocity is greater than critical but less than escape, so it follows an elliptical path. And if it is greater than, if it is equal to Ve, then it will escape. So it will become a parabola and later on Vh greater than V, it becomes a hyperbola. So the different paths are spiral, circular, ellipse, parabola and finally hyperbola. Is this clear? So that's all about the principle of launching of satellite.